Assalamualaikum and very good day everyone. So today I'm going to share with all of you how to do assessment design in open learning. First, you go to the course that you have developed. In this case, I'm going to choose the course developed by Dr. Gan, which is EEV. You go to course setup. You click outcomes. And it will bring you to this page. Okay, so there are two parts that you need to fill in. The first part is the course objective. For this part, you have to put in the course synopsis, followed by the course outcome that you have in your teaching plan. Next, you go to the learning outcomes over here. Do not get confused. Even though the name is learning outcomes, you have to fill in all of the lesson that you have in the course that you have developed. For example here, for this course, there are lesson 1, 2, 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B, 5A, 5B, and the rest of it. Okay, for each individual lesson, you have to create your own tag. In this example, lesson 1, Foundation of Automotive Industry, the tag is Foundation. Remember, the tag should be unique, meaning that it should be different from each other. So for all of the tagging here, it represents the modules that you have in the course. I'll show you the example. I click on learning activities here. Then I click module 1. Let's open it in a different tab. So now I have module 1 here being displayed. So when I go and scroll to the bottom of the page, Wait for it. I can see that there is the tag on foundation. So how to deal with this? I just click on this part. Okay. So once you have set up all the tagging in the outcomes, then you will have the list of tags that you have set earlier. So in this case, the first lesson is module 1 and it is called Foundation of Automotive Industry. So the tag is Foundation and in this page, okay, I just need to scroll and find the tag and it, it has already been selected. So once you have selected the tag, just click anywhere else and then you will have the tag being displayed there. Okay, if you notice in lesson 3, there are two modules or two different lessons. So let me show you the example over here. In this course, lesson 1 there is only one module, lesson 2, only one module, but in lesson 3, the modules have been divided into two parts, which are module 3A and module 3B. Since that each of the module is the individual page, so that is the reason why, if you see in the outcomes over here, it consists of its individual tag. For example, lesson 3A, Understanding EEV, Concept and Types of EEV Technology. So the tag is EEV. So if you see here, module 3A, if I click on it, the tag should be EEV.
Let me scroll to the bottom of the page and show you the example. So you can see the tag is EEV. Right. So please do so for all of the module that you have in your course. So for example, if you have 14 modules, you have to put it individually, all the tags. Okay, once you have completed with this part, you have to go to each of the individual module. So this, is, this will be the next step. So let me check on this. So this is on module one, for example, I click on it. We are still in module one here. So I've shown you the example of the tag at the bottom of the page, right before the comment section. So this is the tag for the module. Okay, if I scroll to the top of it, this will be the instructional video. And then there is a question on why do you study automotive engineering program and what do you know about EEV? So I want the students to give their feedback on this thing. So here are the sample of the feedbacks. So I just click on the edit button here. It will bring me to these options. So I just click on share or post text over here. Click and drag it over here. And if you notice, you will have this function share settings click on tags and then put individual tag for this question as well so in this case the tag is engineering click on ok and there you go don't forget to click finish editing once you have key in the tag for the question so again, when you want the students to answer any question in the particular module, click on edit button, click share over here, and choose any types of responses that you want the students to give to you. And in this case, the response is on posting a text. So I just click and drag and drop it here. Click on share settings. Click on text. And then I key in individual and unique tag for this activity. Once I am satisfied with it, I click on OK. Don't forget to click finish editing. So the same goes for other question that comes in the same module. So I have another module or another question here. So it is on post an image. So I want the student to post an image of a classic car that attracts me or that attracts the students in this case. So I click on share settings here, click on text here, and if you notice, there are two tagging. So it is up to you to have only one or two tags. So in this case, the developer has key in two hashtag or two tags. One is classic underscore car. Another one is one underscore one underscore historical. So it must be unique, meaning that different from each other. So I click on OK again. Don't forget, click on finish editing. And that's it. OK, let me scroll down a bit and let's see whether we have another question inside the module, which is module one or lesson one. Additional video over here. You can take the additional video from YouTube, Vimeo, and such. Okay, so I have another question here. Please share your opinion about the future development of automotive industry. So again, I'm going to click, drag, and drop the features of post text over here. I click share settings. Of course, you need to key in the question. And then I have future trend and historical under the tagging part. So if you notice, it looks similar 
historical like the one that we had before in the previous question which is on posting the historical car or classic car that comes to your attention so click ok here finish editing and that's it so this task applies to all of the module and activities that you have so for example in module one or in lesson one you have three activities you have to key in the individual tag for each of the activity okay right so i'll stop here for a while okay, wait for my second video on how to do the report design on this particular things thank you for watching